Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Donna True Cable uh, again bringing you another video. Uh, this is about copper clad aluminum versus solid copper. Now, uh, CCA cable or copper clad aluminum is, well, quite frankly, have you ever received a, a, a gift that you just didn't want? Well, if you ever receive a gift that's copper clad aluminum, I recommend that you re-gift it, throw it out, whatever, but don't install it. Because let me tell you right now, copper clad aluminum is potentially something that could burn your house down, and I'm not joking. Uh, the, the deal with this stuff is that it's gonna cost less. They're preying on your, uh, the fact that you don't know necessarily enough about ethernet cable to make the call, is copper clad aluminum safe or not? So manufacturers, sellers, are making claims that this is actually suitable. It's not suitable at any speed. It won't pass fluke test results. It won't pass enough uh, electricity for power over ethernet to keep from literally starting a fire. Uh, and and that, that is something that uh, you know, obviously is unacceptable. And it's so unacceptable that it's specifically not allowed uh, according to the uh, UL, our underwriters laboratories, ETL, ANSI TIA. There is absolutely no government regulatory body which allows the use of CCA in the, use, uh, in the Ethernet world. So when it comes to CCA, don't do it. Just don't. Yes, it costs less. You want high quality solid copper like True Cable sells. In the case of True Cable, we sell very, very high quality solid copper. In this, in this case, it's Cat 5E as well, and so is this. Well, supposedly it's Cat 5E, but it won't even pass on a fluke test at Cat 5E. In fact, I'm gonna take you to a, uh, some test results here on the screen, and I'm gonna call your attention. One side of the screen is your copper clad aluminum that I tested, 250 feet. And then on the other side of the screen is True Cable Category 5E Solid Copper. And you're gonna notice that the DC loop resistance or the ability of the cable to handle electrical impulses is about 35 in the case of CCA. Uh, that's well above the limit of 21. In the case of uh, the True Cable Solid Copper uh, conductor is handling or it's, it's right around 16. So it's well below the limit of 21. And, and that's just the ability of it to handle an electrical impulse. It also failed uh, the category test. It wouldn't pass category 5E at 250 feet, uh, where our cable easily passes CAD 5E at you know, uh, 250 feet. But you don't need a fluke tester to tell you whether you have CCA or not. Actually, there's two easy ways of telling. One is weight. Uh, this box weighs literally only 4.6 pounds and it's 250 feet of cable. That's pretty light. That's because aluminum weighs less than copper does. Uh, in the case of true cable, you're pushing probably 40% more per foot in weight than the, than the uh, aluminum is. There's another way of telling. In the case of copper clad aluminum, all you have to do is get out a knife and start scraping. If you can scrape off copper and see uh, a silverish material, that's called an aluminum, and aluminum is part, of this, is part of this conductor, hence copper clad aluminum. So you can easily spot it because of a color change. You go from copper and then you scrape right down to aluminum. So that's not what you wanna see. Uh, that is one way of, those are, that's two easy ways of telling. Another way is, you know, it's significantly less expensive um, and because Aluminum is less expensive than real copper is. So if the price is low and, uh, and the claims are you know, really outrageous that it's the best cable you know, that's, that's on the planet, the fact is you should be very suspicious. Be a good shopper. Anyway, I hope this video has been useful to you. Thank you very much. Go to truecable.com and take a look at our selection of high quality copper cable, which is actually suitable for things where that's not, and uh, hit the like or dislike as you choose. Make a comment in the section below. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more videos, and happy networking.